So finally, first of all, the event listener. How to create this event listener? Okay, the answer is simple. Just go to Symfony documentation and you find everything. Yeah, okay, just kidding. And uh, yeah, so to create an event listener, the very first thing is to move to the SRC folder and create a folder. Let's call it SRC. Oh, sorry, let's call it event. Okay, hopefully I won't spell it, cor I won't spell it wrongly. L event listener. Okay, and inside it, I will create, let's say, a new PHP class that I will call it kernel exception. Okay, hit enter and all good to go. Okay, so this kernel exception will be listening to a specific um, event, as we said, and he will execute some tasks. So as a very simple and quick example and good one actually to start with is to add the listener for the exception that might happen into our application. So an exception means when we run into a 404 errors, when we run into something that's not okay, that uh, we cannot load any class, etc. We can intercept that. This is an amazing word describing what an uh, like subscriber or listener do and do action whether displaying or changing or play around with that response. Okay, so we'll be listening to any exception that may happen in the kernel, right? So right here I will do public function and I will call this on kernel exception and this name is not like random we are here telling the exact name of the event that will be fired so this is kernel exception and we are editing this on to tell symphony that we are executing this method on when this kernel exception did a cure all right so right here i would like to do die okay at this level nothing will happen because symphony do see this class but don't know where to use it, how to manipulate it. So here come another player, very important one, which is service.yaml file. So let me just jump into service.yaml and right here I will create a new property for our class or for our listener to be more adequate. So right here I will start by typing app slash or backslash event listener backslash and let me just drag it to make it simple i'll just drag this namespace right here to be more sure that i did not type something wrong and i'll drag this class name that must be a camel case k make sure that it's camel case elsewhere it will not work okay yet again k okay. and the same for the file name it must be a camel case great cool so the next thing is to tell what the tags so tags mean when or where this class will be used so let me just do tags dots and i'll be passing the following so the first one is the name and look what happened here when i do this single quote and i type kernel kernel dot event listener listener and i will do also the event it will be a kernel exception right so you do remember that we said it must be a verb look what happened here there is this all the possible uh, events that could be fired from the kernel we have response controller control arguments finish and all of them are verbs so let me just put this into um kernel exception and we should be good to go. It seems like working correctly because uh, the namespace dragged me directly to the file. And I'd like to, we could remove these single quotes and make sure that this is working correctly. Event listener, perfect. Okay, now we need to crash our application. Let me just check that everything is fine. Perfect, nothing wrong here but when i do for example this wrong url look what happened 
Okay, it seems something went wrong here because it's not intercepting my call. And there you go, I misspelled these things. So this is why it's not running properly. And if I do refresh, I'm having my message correctly displayed. 